Hello everyone and welcome back to Comfortable English. My name is Sarah Comfort and I am so happy to have you here today. So in today's lesson, we are going to go over a few popular business idioms. This lesson is great for you if you work in an office and are trying to improve your business English or if you are even coming to the United States on a business trip and you want to know what a few popular business idioms are. All of the idioms that we are going to go over today, I use on a daily basis in my office and I also hear them from other people on a daily basis. So I guarantee you that everything we are going to go over today, you will hear again. In the description box below, I do have a link to some video resources that I've created just for you. And in those resources, I go over the idioms that we are going to discuss in this video. And I also include a few extra idioms. So be sure to check that out. So let's get started. The first idiom that I want to go over is 24 seven. Now this is written numerically. It's not written out like a word. And what this means is that something is always happening. So let's break it down. There are 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week. If something is happening 24 seven or 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that means it never stops. So an example of this would be the news. The news is always on 24 seven. The news never stops running. The next idiom is an abbreviation and it is ASAP, which is an abbreviation for as soon as possible. I hear this one all the time and I'm sure you have heard something very similar to this in your office. What this means is that something is needed right now. It creates a sense of urgency. So someone could say, Sarah, I need this report on my desk as soon as possible. But if something is urgent and you're trying to say it quickly, that's where the abbreviation comes in. So someone may say, I need this report on my desk ASAP, or they may also say ASAP. So I could say to you, I need that report ASAP, or I need that report ASAP. You're probably going to hear ASAP more than you will ASAP, but Americans tend to be quick about things. So now you know both ways that you might hear it. The next one is to see eye to eye. Now get visual with me. If you and I are looking directly at each other and we are looking into each other's eyes, we are seeing the same thing. We have the same perspective around us. So when I say I am seeing eye to eye with someone, that means that we see the same thing or we are in agreement. So I could say my boss and I see eye to eye on how to do this report. This means that my boss and I are in agreement on how to do this report. Now on the opposite side, if I say my boss and I do not see eye to eye on this report, that means that we are not in agreement. The next one is by the book. Now, I bet you know someone who lives their life by the book. Imagine you have a book filled with rules. If you follow this rule and this rule and this rule, you will be perfect. So if I say I like to do things by the book, I like to follow the rules. I like to do things the way they are supposed to be done. My boss, for example, is very by the book. She wants things done in a very particular manner. The next is to get the ball rolling. This means that you are starting something. 
So if my boss comes into my office and says, Sarah, I need you to get the ball rolling on this assignment, that means she wants me to start it. She wants me to begin working on this project. The next is to go broke. When someone says they are broke, that means that they have no money. So if you have gone broke, that means you have lost all of your money. So let's say you have a company and they spend all their money and then they lose it. They have gone broke. They have no more money. The next one is game plan. Think about a sports game. A coach will pull his or her team together and say, offense, I want you to do this. And defense, I want you to do this in the game. And that's how we will be successful. They are making a game plan or a strategy of how they want their game to go. In an office, this can be giving out a project to achieve an ultimate goal. So let's say I tell Susie, you are in charge of writing the article. And then I say to you, I say you are responsible for editing the article. And then I look at another coworker and I say you are responsible for publishing the article. I have given out tasks to people and given them a game plan or a strategy of how to complete their assignment. The next is to be on top of something. Now, don't think literally because you aren't going to be standing on anything, but when you say you are on top of something, it means that you are monitoring something or you are watching it very closely. So let's say my boss asks me, Sarah, how is the project coming? Have you gotten, have you gotten a response from someone? And I may say, no, I haven't, but I am on top of it. That means that I am watching for whatever I'm supposed to be receiving. And I am very aware that I need to be watching for this specific thing. I am on it. I am on top of it. I'm watching for it. The next is to start off on the right or wrong foot. So let's say you have an interview and you do great and your future employer is so impressed with you. You have started off on the right foot because you have made a good impression. When you say start off on the right foot or the wrong foot, that means that you have made a good or bad impression on someone. So let's say I hire somebody and on their first day of work, they are late. They have made a bad impression on me or they have started off on the wrong foot. And the final one for today is to touch base. If you have a boss or have ever had a boss, I'm sure you've heard this idiom at some point in your professional career because I hear it every day and it means to stay connected with someone or to keep them informed of something. So my boss can say at the end of the day, I'm going home for the day, but please touch base with me later today to give me an update. That means that my boss wants me to connect or call them or reach out, be it by telephone or email to let them know an update. I hear it every day and I'm sure you do too. If you hear a version of this, leave it below in the comments. I'd love to hear what your version of touch base is. So those are all of the idioms that we are going to go over in this video today. But as I mentioned in the description box below, I have some video resources that are free for you with a few more examples of how to use these idioms and also a few other idioms that I think you may come across in the office. If you liked this video or if you learned something today, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the red subscribe button. 
Thank you for joining me today and I will see you later. Bye.